Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and I thought I'd give, see how this goes, um, not promising regular weekly, probably once a month initially, first few weeks I might do it quite regularly, we'll see how it goes, I'm not into the job, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm subscribed to a channel called Outside Xbox, who I enjoy the other three main presenters on that, Jay, Mick and Andy, inside joke there, some people. Know what I know, we'll get that joke. It's fantastic. And um, they recently had a channel about four or five months ago called Outside Extra. On that, there's two new presenters, Ellen and Luke, of which Ellen has her own YouTube channel. And I've kind of fell down the rabbit hole watching stuff on that recently. And I've probably watched over the last four or five days about four hours of content on that channel. I do have a life. No, I don't. Anyway, I apologise actually for the greyness. I can see how grainy things look on the screen there. I'm just using a the laptop camera that's built in, and also a sound quality might be fantastic because it is just the laptop mic I am using. I've not gone out and bought a lot of stuff because I'm not expecting this to take off, and I'm not spending hundreds of pounds on decent equipment for no one to watch it. Um, this first video, uh, I'm going to. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to cover a variety of my interests. Next few weeks, months, I don't know. A few videos, we'll say videos. We'll specify time frames. The next few videos, variety of interests, which could be things like games, uh, film, TV, um, I don't know, archery. I do, I have got a bow and arrow and a um, kind of target, which is actually just a cardboard box that a poster came in, big poster, Avengers, signed by Robert Downey Jr. Um, and I fire at that. Bang. Never made that sound when I do it though. Um, and then on this video, I since the Royal Rumble, I'm into wrestling, and the Royal Rumble is tomorrow as I'm recording this. I'm gonna do quick fire predictions for each match, and a few things that might happen in the actual Rumble itself. Um, so we'll get cracking on there. I've got the card down here. And this is just the order of the thing in this, it's not necessarily the match order. So first off, we've got Sasha Banks, Nia Jax on the kickoff, a free kickoff now. Um I think Nia Jax will win this. I just think they're gonna have her go for the title against Bailey if and when she wins it. Just can't see any other faces taking off Charlotte and it would have to be a face to take on Nia, I reckon, because I've not seen her do baby face stuff, but she doesn't look the most baby faces of faces. Faceish. She's got a baby face. Uh, but I reckon they'll have at least two more matches on pay per views. So the whatever the next pay per view on Raw is going to be called. They might have announced it. I haven't booked. Done no research before this video. <coughs> Which Sasha would probably win, and then Mania Nia win goes on to take on whoever is the women's champion. Probably Bailey at the first pay per view after the even on Raw, possibly. I don't know. Uh, next, Raw Tag Team Champions. Champions? It says Raw Tag Team Champions here. That should be the Raw Tag Team Championship, surely. This is the WWE's actual site as well, man. Raw Tag Team Championship between Cesaro and Sheamus versus Gallows and Anderson. I think Cesaro and Sheamus will win this. Just because I think it's too soon for him to drop it. Gallows and Anderson, I reckon, should have won it off the New Day way back when. But WWE wanted Demolition's record to be broken. And when they get into these little petty feuds, they do like to destroy each record just to go, mmm. This the equivalent of, you know, taking the ball home when you play football because you may start agree with what you're saying. That's better what the WWE does. Yay! Final kickoff show, well, final kickoff show on this list. And Becky Lynch, Nikki Bella, Naomi versus Bliss, James, and Natalia. Wish James and Natalia to win. This is, I wish there was a singles match for the women with Becky, Becky Lynch. And they like to had some good matches. Um, I'm not saying there haven't been problems, but I think they have, SmackDown have had the better women's division. Um, 
but recent weeks it seems to have gone askew there is since December. They're pretty few to go at one point, and you know, apart from the new one, I was interested in them. So, two out of three. That ain't bad. Mute Web said that. Now, on to the main card Cruiserweight Championship. It's Neville. Neville. It's just. It, I, they might try and surprise us, but everyone wants it to be Neville. They're trying to get prestige and give the title to Neville. People will be more interested in the Cruiserweights. And give him some people to feud with. Give him some names. Get Tajiri back. You know, I mean, we've got Brian Kendrick there, but I don't think he's quite big enough. Uh, get some of the old school um, people. They'll be good. You know who they are. I've not done any research for this video, so I have nothing lined up. And coming off the top of my head, this, and that's probably quite self apparent. Uh, next, we're all women's champion. They keep saying champion. It should be championship. They're not fighting for the champion. They're not. If Bailey wins, she does not win Charlotte Flair. She wins the title. Go on, WWE. Sort it out. Anyway, Charlotte Flair for Bailey. Charlotte Flair will win. Um, the only way Bailey's winning is by DQ. Charlotte Flair will come out champion, but I reckon Charlotte Flair will just win. Possibly by underhanded tactics. Um, probably by underhanded tactics. But um, they're going to keep the undefeated single at, you know, streak at pay per views because it's single. People forget she was a tag team match at the pay-per-view at some time, I think it was. Again, no research done. Might be wrong. But she definitely lost a tag team match. And um, where are we up to now? And so next, oh yeah, I think Charlotte might drop it at Mania, potentially. I think if she just drop it that way, or the Bailey wins, and possibly Bailey Nigel's, which I think would be a shame because we had that in NXT. I don't know the mainstream audience what's in that story, but kind of the hardcore audience who do watch NXT have. Uh, next, Universal Champion. Again, it's fighting for the champion, not for the championship. Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. A no disqualification match with Chris Jericho suspended above the ring in a shark cage. Is that a shark cage? I've seen shark cages. They don't look like that. I could be wrong, there might be a type of shark case that does look like that, but the ones I've seen don't look like that. I think it's just a cage. Anyway, I think they're just trying to differentiate the fact that they have cage matches. I think that's the reason they're calling it a shark cage. These the last two, or the two main championship matches, I'll have one for the call, because I only think one will change hands, I don't think both will change hands. It's predicting which one. I've gone for Roman Reigns on this because of the whole dropping the US title, which could just be WWE kind of pushing us in that direction, saying, look, this title, he's not got that title anymore. But I don't know. It, it, I'm going for Reigns. And yeah, that's it. I reckon Jericho will get involved. He'll get out of the cage. And Reigns will spear him and Jericho will disappear from existence. Next, WWE Champion, AJ Styles versus... Oh, actually, I just realised, they're, no, they're just saying the WWE Champion, AJ Styles versus... So technically, it is correct. I apologise, WWE, I've just realised. You haven't put any punctuation in there, and that just means you're just stating that that first person is the champion. Well done. I've just realised that. <laughs> Fantastic. AJ Styles versus John Cena... And obviously, because I've gone for Reigns in the previous one, I'm going for Styles in this one. Doesn't mean Cena won't get the title before Mania, but um, we're going to go into the Rumble. Now, people said this is the most unpredictable Rumble ever. I've done no research. I have no idea if that is the case. I've got about 10 years of Rumbles, which I've just watched, because between 2003 to 2010, I watched no wrestling at all. And then from 2010, I started watching little bits and bits. And from 2000 and End of 2015 is when I started watching it regularly again. So I do have massive gaps in my wrestling knowledge. Um, anyway, from the Rumble, a few things I want to quickly go through. I reckon Samoa Joe will debut in this match. I think I'll have quite a strong showing. I don't think he'll win it. He is one of the favourites to win. I've looked at it at one point. He was the second favourite person to win it in the bookies. Um, I don't know what current odds are. That was about two days ago. I checked that. Um, but I reckon he'll come in about, you know, low teams from between 10 and 15. He'll stay into the final four, I reckon, and get eliminated eventually, obviously, and not win, but have a good, strong, solid showing. Next, um, 
Lesnar Goldberg. I don't think either of these will win. I do think that is going to be the main event. A lot of people talk about a triple threat match in Mania with Lesnar, um, Goldberg, and Taker. I think not, no, because I think Lesnar Goldberg is a big enough match to draw. You don't need to put Taker in that match. It, to me, it makes no sense. Um, but we'll see. I think what will happen with them. One of them will come in first, obviously, because. That's the way the match works. <laughs> You'll come in, I've said, say, say Goldberg, he'll spare a few people, he'll jackhammer a few people, he'll throw a few, few people out, and, you know, in the interim, like, there'll be three or four people come in, and then, whoever isn't in, so in my case here, uh, Brock Lesnar comes down, they'll brawl, they'll be about, ha, ha, we're monsters, you know, that's wrestling, that's basically what it is. Um, they'll eliminate each other, they'll just, you know, be brawling near the rope and, and both go out and both be eliminated and probably keep brawling around the outside and then there's their WrestleMania match. Um, but I do think Taker's going to win this one. Um, it's hard one to say, but I think Taker's going to win this one and he's not officially on the Raw roster. I know he's been appearing on Raw recently. He appeared on SmackDown earlier. He was never drafted. I reckon I want um, Taker style for Mania. I reckon he might go for the SmackDown Championship, but he could potentially be Taker Cena. Because even if Cena doesn't win at the Rumble, there's another pay per view before Mania, Cena could win there. That, that. I know Dave Meltzer was saying, don't we do a scrap in these plans? We don't know. Anyway, there are my predictions, and now a little treat. I don't know how well it's going to work, but um, Melody Pop. There it is. Look. Ooh. Strawberry flavour. And I'm going to attempt to do a few wrestling themes on this. I've, it's been a while since I've used one of these, but... <clears throat> thank you. That is rubbish. Oh, that's a bit better. Oh, that's stiff. Sorry, it's a bit weird in the end of it. I'm going to cut some of this out. Let me try and get this working. Alright, cut here. Let me figure out this. <laughs> Ah, I've got to the conclusion. This is rubbish. I used to be able to do songs on these. I mean, it was like I was 10 years old at the time. But, I can't get any sort of notable tune out of this. They've changed them. It definitely changed the strawberry. I can vouch for that bit. Mmm, lovely. But, oh, the thing's too stiff. It's just, I, I'm pulling quite, and it's rubbish. So, I'm gonna try and see, maybe it's just this one's defective and other ones might be better. I think if I've got a smoother shaft, <laughs> um, or smoother, uh, what do you call that action? The in out action. There is probably a proper word for it, but if we get a better one, I might do a separate video where it's just me doing wrestling things on a lollipop. But this one, I can actually make it work, but well, it's to change the note bits, and I can't do the songs I want to do because it requires quite quick and no, it's rubbish. So, um, which brand is this? Chupa Chups! Disappointed. You've ruined the end of my video and I shall never forgive you. Should go for the camera, I keep looking down there. Tastes nice though. Ow. Hurt my coop. Anyway, goodbye. And um, I'll get another one during a week. See if I can do wrestling themes on it.